Welcome back, everybody. The farm is similar to 17 here on Chanelton Farms. How are y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? Oh, I am doing good. Thank you for asking. Well, folks, I, I've changed up a few things here. Uh, we're over here on the cow uh, area. I put in a uh, square bale storage deal since we're running season now. We can hold up to 108 bales of each kind, and it's uh, grass, straw, and hay bales. And I also went in GE, oops, and I, I moved this over from here to there. Uh, as you can see, well, that way the pipe is directly under the road here and um, I filled the straw area up with uh, of course straw also put in a uh, water station here been working on filling this up with uh, grass so we got some silage going on here uh, we're going to have put some in our mixer over there but also, I want to take a load to uh, the biogas and try to sell it so we can get some money. But having said all that, we do have uh, some poop left over from uh, where we had animals before. But as you can see, grass is almost full. Uh, straw is almost full. And we got solids we got to fill up. But we also, we got almost 40,000 of TMR but uh, I'm doing a project over here on the forest side as you may see I took had a uh, Jay Boo and Colin and Mr. Yankee to team up and they come in here and cut out all these stumps and stuff that was down through here remember that that fence line so we got one big open feel now and you're probably like Mr. Blue why you got a tractor in there tilling up the grass for it? well we are and I'm running over we over here running over the grass we have crop destruction on what I'm going to do folks is we're going to plow up our area Ooh, almost hit the bridge I've been plowing up that area over there. I'm going to plow up all the way across and replant grass. And why I'm doing that is so I can fertilize it. And get a little bit more uh, stuff out of it. I can fertilize it and get more growth. More, uh, oh, I'll think of it here in a minute. I can't think of it. More product, yeah, yeah. There we go. More product. All right, we got that hooked. Yes, I've got to start. Oh, got to start the tractor. Start the right. And look like I'm on the right one. But this episode is mostly going to be about this project right here. Um, what I'm doing now is making some grass bales. I need some hay bales too, but uh, don't think I got a tether right now. But I did play back a little bit all along. It's like 17,000 uh, enters, so uh, yeah. Or maybe it was 1,700. Somewhere in there. But uh, also, I'm waiting for the next stage growth over on field. I oh, can't see it right now. The, the two small fields I bought over there. Ooh, they don't 
Hunter. Let me go about right here. Drop my mower back down. Done a pretty good job. Who we got there anyway? Oh, we got Junior. Junior's making the bales for us. All right. Yeah, if I don't forget, folks, I have Junior's uh, link to his YouTube channel down below. I've been kind of unfair because he's been helping me out recording stuff, and uh, I ain't got his link down to the bottom yet. So that's going to be added for a shimmy that up to the top. Uh, we're going to break the GPS here for a second, go over. I wish I could get this taller grass out of here. It would look pretty if it looked for that. Alright, raise the moors up. And lower the mowers back down. And we're going to go GPS lock. We'll have to get a our semi truck and trailer over here. I don't think we got a bell spike. I don't know. We got a bell spike and we need some more tractors. Well, I want to get uh, this area mowed and then uh, so we can uh, plow it up and stuff. I went ahead and went with the square bells because we got the uh, tank over there to make the solids for us. So. Uh, raise our mowers up. Let them down. GPS lock. And I got looking at the horsepower, this is the biggest one, the Valter S series. So we'll, we'll pick some trade in some tractors too, but we got too many tractors sitting around. Um, check out, see what we're leasing and stuff. And uh, I'll probably try to get rid of them too. Yes, on two, four, five, six, probably seven right there. Bell so far, not bad. Wish I had a tether. We could tether that part right there. I'm gonna go to the garage real quick. Uh, let's go to lease. All right, no vehicles leased. That's a good thing. And see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we got the John Deere's over here. Seven, eight, nine. So we got nine tractors. Which will probably come in handy. And oh yeah, and I bought a, uh, that grain trailer there. Because I, I thought the Dakota was messed up. But apparently it's still giving us a hard time in that area. Yeah, we got windmill too. Y'all know that? $1,000 an hour. I did not know that. that thing there but it's not no maintenance on it 
So, or at least it don't look like it anyway. Let's keep it still long. Let's keep on going so we can get this uh, finished here. I wish I could hire a worker on my plow, but uh, they won't hire because it's not detecting a field, so it's always a catch. We're almost done here, it won't take that long. But I think I'll keep the Massey, the 77 or the 87, the, probably the 87. The bigger tractors I'm going to keep. We'll be getting, we picked up three new fields, so we're going to need some bigger equipment and tractors. We might need all those tractors time to get everything going. few bales there. We need some hay bales. I didn't. I was right there and didn't even look and see if we had a tether, a wind roller. No, I don't see no tether. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. If we need some, we'll just have to buy them. We don't have a tether right now. I'm probably going to buy more sheeps right now than anything. Matter of fact, just what I'm going to do as soon as we get done here. As you can see, we're day four on midsummer. It's going to be uh, almost fall before we get a rain. And I like to buy that field there. And make it a big grass field. I'll just go ahead and go over. Go ahead and go over to this one. I wish there was a way you could do the GPS block with the uh, Xbox controller, but you had to use the keyboard. It's Control W. Oh, you know. That's why I wish I had the uh, Xbox Elite controller. Have those extra buttons. without leaving any behind. Raise it. The reason I raise them up is it still mows when they're raised up. I guess how high the grass is, but it, it makes it turn better. I'm just going to Drive on around this way. Get a little look at the thing there. Alright, GPS lock. Almost done here, folks. We can have to pick the bells up here in a minute. And uh, I did have a question I asked about driving a semi out in the middle of the field to pick up hay bales. Uh, around here, I have seen it done. It's not often. It's mainly in the summer when it's good and dry. And they'll take their trailers out, or semi trucks, or whatever they haul, out in the field. And, uh, 
some of them do use trailers but there's one or two around here uh, more to the west of us up uh, in the mountains but not really mountains kind of like small hills uh, probably about maybe 30 40 feet elevation difference but uh, it's Lake Poinsett we went over in that area to do some trucks and stuff oh he would have to drop that mail right there I'm going to go out this way and turn around always waiting on me come on now get out of my way come on dear get out of my way Should have done a couple more rounds right there. Whoa, hay bale. Oh, excuse me. Grass bale. Oh, and I forgot about that too. We got a. Yeah, that's one thing I ain't got on this map yet. The moisture checker. I gotta have one too to run seedless. Don't have to, but. Oh, excuse me. I hate y'all in on the while I'm recording, but it never fails. Alright, folks, we got one more through. I'll turn sharp here. I love to follow me mod. I really do. Alright, um Yeah, we need to get field eleven and turn half of it in the grass field. Gonna shut that off for right now. Go here to Junior. Show F to get to follow me off. Alright, now let's see how we do this. I think turn that off and hit Y. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we still got 2,000 readers in here. Right, I'm gonna put that back on follow me for a second. I know this ain't realistic folks, but I just wanna show y'all. Show show my muscles off. There we go. Well oh, that's throw it far enough. There we go. That's how they're gonna stack up. See? Take one away, so it'll be 171 in there. And uh Oh, we're good on that. We just need silage. All right, let's uh, we'll get a semi truck so we can uh, get this stuff going. All right. Get these out of the way anyway, so we can do some plowing. But uh, as far as animals, I did. Uh, Field of water, straw, and grass, I believe. Ooh, a little bumpy right there. Ah, park this guy right here for right now. And see if I can do this. Get him up here a little bit. And then kill that. 
Ah, I killed mine too. Oh, mine was killed. Ah, ha. My bad. I killed this one. Alright, we're just going to leave them sitting there. Um. I hate to go down that way, but I go past the what pressure washer there, and then it starts getting real laggy, so that's why I'm moving some of the equipment up. See, I got this tractor free, that tractor, and a couple others. Alright, let's see. We're going to pull this up on the gravel here. Let her legs down. Alright, we're going to use this truck and that trailer. Get the bells up. You thought it's gonna crash, didn't you? I tried to drive somewhat good. All right. Whoa. Hi. Right. Speaking of trying to drive good, I just hit that. It's. Well, I'm going to go up here and throw a Yui. This truck is really too quick. It's just too fast, too much work. Whoa. I hate when that happens. Wait, I might need to adjust my trailer. That's going down. I need to lift the fifth wheel up. And how about... Oh. Yep, that's all the way back. Okay. And I gotta use the gray box this time. Square bells, where you go? Alright, auto load on square bells. Let's go see what we can find. Let's see. Nope. Like right here. I know I need to use a tractor and a fork to put them on and be more realistic. Well, the No Creek Farms is pretty much the more realistic one. These here, I just kind of go with the flow. Alright. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. I don't look like no more back that way. Like right there, so T four, six, eight, nine. Almost a full load. And we're, I'm just getting this for the cows. They probably won't use that much grass, so this should be enough. And as soon as we get enough stuff built up in storage, we'll probably buy it. Cows. A good load of cows, anyway. Um, Why well, I got the money? Oop, there's one. I'm gonna go buy some sheep. Alright. Uh, LB A and then LB X will change the sides, center, that, all that good stuff. Alright, now all I gotta do is just uh, hit LB and Y, uh, it unloads into there. A nice stacking job, I wish I could stack that nice. Alright, where we're going to go now. I think I'm going to park this trailer right here. Okay. I'll back up to this real quick. I'll show y'all. I put in a light right there. Right there. You can see it there. So. And I'll show y'all the animals real quick. As you can see, I don't have no animals. 
but I got uh, hay here. I just need some water. Um, so I'm going to take this water trailer over there, give them some water. Uh, the pigs, I ain't working on nothing right now for them. Um, the sheeps will produce wool. And when we get a load of wool and sell it, we'll buy cows. And cows will produce milk, manure, and stuff like that. As we can spread across, so that will help us save money on fertilizer. But, uh, well, I didn't put no grass in there, did I? But I did put water and straw. We need grass and then power food. Because power food will do both of these lines here. They will. Uh, try to show that to y'all next episode. But let's go uh, get some water over to uh, the sheeps. Without, uh, we'll have to go through the field. But I did do some openings. I opened the, uh, like this gate. I took this gate completely out and made this wider. Same there and all the way around. And uh, I'm going to go over to a little bit here in a little bit and show y'all. If I look over that way, I'll start going slow. So that's why I kind of made it road down through here. And I did get a bobcat. Forgot to tell y'all about that. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Iron, stupid me. That was the feeding trough. There we go. Wow, that filled that up quick. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this no noise truck off. Uh, I put a cattle gap in here. This was over in the cows area, so I just duplicated it and brought it over here, placed it down. I took the gates off because I couldn't get them to open for some reason. So I just went in GE, took the gates out, and uh, yeah, so the sheeps won't be able to cross that. But uh, let's see if the trigger is still here. Yay, it's still here. We're going to buy us some sheep today. How many should we buy, folks? How many should we buy? Ooh, 37,000 already. That's 10 right there. Can we go 20? Oh, no, no. Got to go back down. Uh, well, I'd go 14 right now. I believe that's about 3,000. Uh, confirm. Yes. Super dip is low. Okay, well, I'm probably going to have to. Uh, there we go. And see how much food they got is good, so. All right, now all we got to do is uh, let them mate and produce more sheep and wool. Uh, yeah. About to get to drive out here to show you all on this here. The gates open, took some weeds down. Same down there. That area is bigger. And same down through it. Hey, there's my flatbed truck. Hey, let's see. Sunflowers. Soybeans and sunflowers. Yay. I need to check a little bit. We might have a, the next stage group. Let me turn this around here. And we're not going to go through the shed, but I am going to show y'all the... Uh, Bobcat here, I got. It's got the regular JCB, but it's, I got the wheeled one. Um, we should be seeing a wool pallet here pretty soon. So, and I did move this uh, sail trigger over a little bit, but I think what we're going to do 
is uh, move them over and just store them until we get quite a bit. That way we'll know what's what. All right, let me see if I can get over to a little bit here. Yeah, not even. Oh, I gotta get in a vehicle. No way for it to work. Let's see. Let's go to the tractors. There we go. And we're still waiting. It's not up enough. I don't think. I mean, it looks taller. Let's go out here. And, okay, it's fertilizing. Uh, it's, oh, wrong one. Let's check to see if that done anything. Uh, let's see where we're at over here. All right. Let's see. Yes, it did. Okay. You can see that little spot right there. So we're going to get fertilizing these. Well, folks, we are 31 minutes in, so I think I'm going to call the uh, episode here. And, uh, there we go. Get that up there. All right. Uh, that's adjusted, so we'll adjust this over. And GPS locked. And, uh, I should be able to hire a worker now. There we go. Uh, hang on. What happened here? It's not using no fertilizer. Ah. Uh. Off. Off. We don't need to buy it because we're making it. That's what the biogas does when we take silage up there. Gives us a chance to uh, make digestate and then digestate makes the fertilizer and stuff. Uh, let's check out this here. As you can see, it's mainly uh, grass, what we need to harvest. And so we're going to be doing that. I got that other field I can do. Probably uh, take a tether up there, mow, ted, and rake, and stuff like that on the next episode of that field. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get this fertilization done, and I'm probably going to skip to the next day. It's 6.44 in the morning, so we're working kind of early. Now you can see a strip I mowed. I just went around testing all the spots that I opened up, make sure they worked. But um, other than that, folks, um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, plowing. I don't think I got the John Deere tractor on the, uh, here we go. Did I got it set to tractor? No, I don't. Let's let's do that real quick. I like to move it to the top. I gotta figure out how to do that too. Okay. But anyway, uh, show y'all real quick what I was doing. It is a crate field and go down through here. And you can see the, the tall grass how it's doing, but we will be replanting this with grass. So. But what I'm going to do is when I get this done, we're going to fertilize this, then cultivate it, then fertilize it again, then plant grass. 
weekend and uh, we should have a, a good healthy field of grass coming up pretty soon so hopefully before winter um, but folks that's it I'm gonna work on this in just a little bit and uh, I'm just trying to record a lot today of each episode so hope y'all enjoyed it I love each and every one of y'all and folks just thank you thank you thank you for all that you have done uh, I love all the comments and stuff it's just uh, amazing the love and stuff I got from y'all so I guess I'll catch y'all tomorrow y'all have a great day a blessed day and I will see y'all later